So, I've been talking about this name aggregator and different, different, different titles to describe it. But I think it should just be called the name aggregator. That's the easiest thing to call it by. Let me adjust the screen. So what is the engineering question? So these are, these are this is a list of questions that have actually been given by Peter Thiel to um, companies that are entering you know the technology discipline, and he's actually someone I do admire because he's uh, he's really logical and he he's thought about things quite deeply. So can you create um, breakthrough technology instead of incremental improvements. The technology can it be a breakthrough? Because I'm thinking about this for the first time. So you're observing somebody who is trying to think about this for the first time. Can you create breakthrough technology instead of incremental improvements? Is it? Oh no. No, I don't think so. It could be replicated if someone wished to do so. What could be the breakthrough technology? I think the breakthrough technology would be the determination of competence of an individual. There are so many factors that tie into that, and it's such a long-term concerted effort. I would be hard-pressed to say that anyone could compete from that standpoint. That that's a really long play. That's that's something like of a ten-year play. That's extremely, extremely challenging to replicate. Um, the incrementalism of it times time makes it a breakthrough technology when it's rendered in its aggregate but as a single technology no these tools are off the shelf so No, I. It's a very good question. Very good question. So this is. I I think it's simply the. Con the name, the machine learning. The na natural language processing of attaching a name to a competence within an article or within a web page that is super challenging and that will take and that will be machine learning at its max and that will even the machine will be able even if it's you know the best machine learning uh, natural language processing engine out there it won't be able to assume that for a very long time so uh, the actual 
the breakthrough technology is when the actual engine becomes ultra sophisticated and that's going to take a lot of ones and zeros so this breakthrough technology could be achieved when it's when it reaches its point of eff of efficient application accurate efficient application conceivably that's that's far into the future and I'm I'm not uh, I'm not prepared to say that it is a breakthrough technology that I could uh, deliver at this time is now the right time to start your particular business yes because almost every year more and more people in the third world are getting access to the internet and so what's happening is with globalization it, it, there are high quality people that have not been able to be contacted in the past and it's the opportune moment it's because of the cell phone the, and the the reduction of poverty I think it's time and within five years from now you will become ultra important I think the timing is correct because this is a this is a the, the tool is an arbitrage play between the haves and the have-nots and I don't know what that's going to result in maybe it's going to lift up the people the the have-nots and is also going to improve the productivity of the haves so I'm but that's that's not what the question is asking is now the right time to start your particular business I would say yes I would say yes are you starting with a big share of a small market well the way I've been discussing it it seems quite so it's so proud by going after I would like to imagine this the what 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 would be the value it would be the the largest public index of people's names in the world now the value of that in its in, in, in singular form it's not very much. It's I don't know who would find that valuable. But for what for people who are looking for index of names, it will be the number one index of names. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, that would be public and easily available, which would be searchable. That in itself, I think, is ultra valuable. So. That's something that Facebook could do, but that's not what its purpose is. And back to that, it doesn't necessarily have to be accurate, and it's all bumbled and mung. It's all mixed together, right? You search someone's name, and then there's this. There's a business under that name, and uh, it's not not that's not as intent it's not its purpose its person it's Facebook's purpose is to be social this is just simply an index and I do believe that yes it will be the, it will be the people don't people can't perceive that vision so I believe that's the the number one purpose Do you have the right team? My business partner is inundated with work, so I 
I, I see the value of it. I think it's because I've been on this job search and this kind of helping people find that niche of what they're able to do and, and reward them for it. So I'm really striving and driving to that. I, I really hope that could be something valuable. So for this certain project, it's just me. I don't I don't I don't think I I don't see I could communicate the, the vision as well as I don't think I can communicate the vision to other people without talking about the end game. So I mean what kind of person would be just interested in the largest index of names? Accurate index of names. I mean that's all there is is just names. I think for me it's going to be a, a self-led project. When it comes to monetization, I could conceivably share I could conceivably share my values in how well, see I'm tearing up again. <laughs> Emotionally, just it pulls something out of me, and there's a real reason. There's a lot of great people out there who can't find work. I mean, it's so sad. Or they're just not paid enough. So many great people. You know, there's people who. There's colleagues of mine that they're because of their. Their emotional issues are keeping them back from progressing for where they could be. They have this much responsibility, but they're capable of this much. Their intellect is there, but you know they're just a worker bee. So I think I have a really strong communicable vision. But I need to put in the work first before I share with share that vision. Not because of fear, because this is going to be a public video. But because engineers want to be led by an engineer. I'm not. I'm not that good of engineer. But I wish I can communicate the vision and and show my own strive. Because I'm intelligent, but I'm not that intelligent. I'm not super up there so it's really hard for me to sometimes apply technology to my own ideas but I I'm going to try to make it work and so I'm going to need to communicate that and so the best leaders are the ones who who are not afraid to get the work done themselves and this is going to be a strictly an engineering company it's going to be led by engineers Myself, I'd like to, I'd like to call myself an amateur software engineer. So if if I'm gonna bring engineers, I'm gonna have to be competent in that same regard. Otherwise, what is my purpose and value to the business? Do you have a way to not just create but deliver your product? The delivery will be the curiosity. I would like to find out the statistic how often people Google their own names. There's an index, a searchable index of someone's name. And there's a link to that person's name where that name was found. I don't know. I would be curious. I would be super curious. I'd put in my name, find out what kind of links there are. I think that would be pretty cool. Right? I think that would be super cool. And I think that would be a mode of engagement for people, for sure. And the more that people search their names, then that 
that means that there's a greater purpose of actually determining that name. It's basically a self-fulfilling. Oh, we don't have this name? We're going to search for that name. We let the person know, come back in a week or two weeks. And I think that could drive engagement in some way. Will your market position be defensible 10 and 20 years into the future? I think so. Because with social platforms, they're social. This is not a social network. It's almost like the antisocial. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's not antisocial. But it's pretty cut and dry. It focuses on accuracy. 100% accuracy. And its purpose is is not to monetize based on an individual. Its purpose is to help propel that person to earn money. That's the number one focus. And residually, when that person economically benefits, we residually benefit. But besides that, there is no other purpose. So, yeah. The, the purpose is so straight line. It's, it's so fundamentally basic that it's basically an assumption of whom you need into the future. That's, that's the tool. So, and I've been talking about with HR and how to assume competency assume what competency you're looking you need to tie into your service by using an API and it's all I think it's it'd be ultra because it'd be ultra difficult for someone to tie those tools together. It's not saying that it couldn't be done, but its its purpose is ultra specific, and uh, I, I think, in my estimation, LinkedIn is rubbish. You can find people, but it's a social network. It's weird. I don't get it. Its its purpose is really awkward. I don't understand it. You know. I don't. I don't understand why I need to watch videos of some inspirational quotes when I'm supposed to be working. I can I can find those inspiration inspirational quotes on quotes one oh I don't know, one hundred quotes dot com or whatever those quotes was websites are. You know? It's just a time sucker like your people are pushing their con it's a sales platform. Right? You're trying to sell people jobs. It's like so it's so rudimentarily basic. You're pulling people who you think might be good for your jobs and you're paying for that service. Not only that, you're pulling them and their their profiles may not be accurate. It's all very inefficient, I, I in my estimation. I don't think it's very accurate. It's, listen, it's the best we've got, but it's not the best that could be. And I think the approach is completely different, and I think that's why it might be a lot healthier. So 10 and 20 years, 10 and 20 years, we're looking at, uh, you know, Ray Kurzweil's, you know, 
the one thingness. What is it called? The uh, when everything, when all AI and technology, the singularity, the point of singularity. I mean, will anything be around? <laughs> you know. But because it's a it's 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 a competence, it's a competency engine. That's what its purpose is. I think because that is so ultra specific, and I haven't found any startup or anyone thinking about it. I think it's so avant garde that it's unique in itself that it once once it moves forward it would be ultra difficult for someone to be able to accurately pull the data because it would it would take a global effort right so it could be theoretically done though i'm not sure it would be beneficial have you identified a unique opportunity that others don't see? Yeah, I just mentioned I think it's uh, so avant-garde. It's, it's outside of what everyone's been discussing, in a, I, I think. I think it's pie in the sky. A lot of people get offended. I Myself, I got almost shocked by what I had described. But I, I, I think it's a necessity to mankind. We need to help those who need it. And we need to be able to help them so they can help themselves. Because that's what it is. You're giving the people the opportunity to help themselves, which is bar on the most important. I'm not sure how to brand this, but uh, it's really important. And uh, anyways, that's